He is also the founders, founder of the Environics Institute, which has sponsored surveys of Canadian Muslims, Afghan citizens, and Aboriginal Canadians. Mr. Michael Adams. Two years ago, I established, after what, 30, 40 years of business, um, the Environics Institute to survey people not normally surveyed asking questions not normally asked. And the first study we did was a certain study of the Muslims in Canada. Never been done before. The new other in our midst, the new strangers here. And I felt that after 9-11, and particularly after all the research that was done in Europe and the United States, it was time that we did it in Canada. And so I actually set up an institute in order to do that. Uh, here in Toronto, GTA, we're looking at nearly half the population, foreign born, and another 25% second generation, something along uh, nearly three quarters of the population. The majority disagree that there's too much immigration, but there has been a recent spike in concern. So you can see throughout the 1980s and into the 1990s, most people agree we had too much immigration in Canada. But as time went on and getting into the new millennium, uh, those who agreed declined, and actually over the last decade it's been the minority, with the majority of people thinking, uh, disagreeing with the statement that we have too much immigration in Canada. In fact, we you add it, you look at it, there's basically people here from every country in the world. And of course you've got 200 countries, if those people from 200 countries kind of get to know and like people from other countries, of the 200 countries, the possibility are about 40,000 different combinations, which is going to make some beautiful babies, I'm sure. I think we will probably dominate the intellectual and uh, uh, Mrs. World and Mr. World contest in the future when you think of what these Canadians are going to look like in 50 or 100 years when we end up all mixing up with each other. You start out, of course, by fearing the other. The next phase is tolerating the other, and the final phase in the evolution is savoring the other, where you actually don't want to actually be with people who just look like you and have your own background. You actually want to be with people who are a little bit different because you're going to learn something from them and because they're actually uh, interesting for you. And that is, of course, the, the unlikely utopian story of, of evolution. 